going to pick up right where we left off in the last video. And of course, we hit this button here and we fixed sort of a bug. And what we did was we hid this button so that the user couldn't keep hitting it and the text would disappear forever. And of course, it works. But that's sort of bad form not to warn the user that the changes are permanent. So what we want to do in this video is add a confirmation box. That's what we want to do. We want to basically add a confirmation box so that we can let them know that these changes are in fact final. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So first, let's go ahead and add the confirmation box. So we're going to put this right here. And the confirmation box, by the way, is similar to the alert box. The only difference is you get a cancel button, whereas with the alert box, you only get a OK button. So there's no other option. You have to hit OK, and then your code will do whatever you want your code to do. So all we do is type in confirm instead of alert, and then we're going to put some stuff here in the parenthesis. And we're simply going to say these changes are final. We could write something like hit OK to proceed, but if you want to do that, you can. I'm not going to. OK, and then let's just go ahead and put a semicolon here, and that should give us our confirm box. So let's go ahead and refresh our page, and if we hit the submit button, we get our confirmation box. If we hit OK, yeah, that's great. It did it. That's what we said we wanted to do. We said, go ahead and make the change. Let's refresh back. Let's go ahead and cancel out. Ah, it still did it anyways. Now, that's not what we want. If we hit the cancel button, we want that to keep the original state. Now, why didn't that work? Well, take a look at the code. There's nothing to stop it from executing this code, right? No matter what we do at the confirm box, all these lines are going to be executed no matter what we do. So we need to use an if statement, an if statement to the rescue. Remember, we can deal with multiple outcomes using an if statement. So that's what we need to do. But before we do that, we need to put this confirm box in a variable. So let's do that. And you know, we just write in var and let's just call this confirmation. So we'll say that equals, and of course, our confirm box right here. Good. Now, what we want to do is wrap all of this code now in an if statement. So let's go right up here. And of course, you know, we use the keyword if. Actually, let's give this a space. And then in parenthesis, we're going to put our argument, of course. And here is where we're going to use our variable. And that's why we needed this variable so we could use it down in our if statement. And we're going to use an equality operator now, which of course is equals equals. And we're going to set this to true. Now we're going to need an extra set of squiggly brackets, so let's just copy and paste this here. And then we'll need to close it out down here. That's all good. And so now all of this code is now wrapped inside of our if statement. So what we're doing here is we're testing to see if it's true. Remember, this doesn't set it to true. We're just testing to see if it is true. If they hit the OK button, if that is true, then all of this code will be executed. If it's false, then as you know, all of this code will be skipped and it will exit out of the if statement and nothing will happen. Now, we could put an else right down here. You could put an else down here. Remember we dealt with that earlier in the series? You could put an else down here and put some code for when they hit the cancel button, but we're not going to do that. We want it back at the original state. So let's go ahead and see if this works. So we'll refresh. Let's go ahead and hit the submit button. We cancel and look at that. It worked, right? The code was not executed. Now let's go ahead and hit this again and let's make sure the OK button still works. And it does. Look at that. So that's how you do a confirmation button. And you always want to use an if statement if you have multiple buttons in your dialog box. And in this case, we did. And you can keep this set of code for the future. When you have multiple buttons, you can use this if statement. In other words, it doesn't have to be this confirm box. You could use any type of box or dialog box that you pop up. And you could use this same if statement to do something when they hit a particular button. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.